The Three Pigs, My Favorite Fairy Tale, Little Landau Books. Mrs. Polly Pig had three little piglets, Philip, Perry, and Percival. When they grew up, they packed their belongings and went off to make their fortunes. They discussed their plans for the future and decided that they would each like their own house. Philip met a man carrying straw. May I have some straw to build my house? asked Philip. The man agreed and the house was built. The house was barely finished when someone knocked on the door. It was the wolf saying, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, replied Philip. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And the wolf did just that. Philip ran away to his brothers. Perry met a man carrying sticks. May I have some sticks to build my house? Perry asked. The man agreed and the house was built. The house was barely finished when someone knocked on the door. It was the wolf saying, little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, cried the little pigs as they piled furniture in front of the door. The wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And he did. Percival met a man with a load of bricks. May I have some bricks to build my house, he asked. The man agreed and the house was built. With the brick house finished, the three little pigs took shelter inside. The next day, a knock was heard at the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, called the wolf. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins, the little pigs replied. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the wolf. The wolf huffed and puffed, but could not blow the brick house down. Exhausted but determined to get the pigs, the wolf came up with another plan. The apples are ripe in Farmer Smith's orchard. Meet me at three o'clock and we will pick them together. Sensing that the wolf was up to no good, Percival arrived at the orchard at two o'clock and picked a big bag of delicious apples. The wolf is furious and thought up another plan. The fair starts tomorrow, the wolf told, per told Percival. Meet me at four o'clock and we shall go together. Percival arrived at the fair at three o'clock bought a butter churn and started home. Coming up the hill towards the pig was the wicked wolf. The little pig jumped into the churn and rolled down the hill past the wicked wolf. He rolled safely home and joined his two brothers in the safety of his brick house. The wolf was determined to get to the pigs no matter what. He climbed a ladder to the chimney. Hearing the wolf on the roof, the frightened little pigs lit the fire. They heard the wolf sliding down the chimney. When the flames hit him, the wolf's tail caught fire. He ran out of the house, never to be seen again. The three little pigs were so happy, the wicked wolf was gone forever, and they lived safely in the sturdy brick house. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe.